Good morning, everybody, and welcome at Plume Lumière Tarot. I hope you're doing great. Um, today, we're going to do the reading for the month of February concerning the sign or ascendant to the sign of the Aries. So I hope you're doing great, everyone. We have a great reading here for you. The first two cards that I draw, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you an upright position. This is the Six of Roses. You see, it's a battlefield. But this one came upside down. All right. This card here indicates there, there's an end into a relationship. There is something that just happened that could be work-related, emotional world-related, could be because you're the loved one. It just finished. Everything burst into pieces, and then you are into mourning a kind of a, a relationship okay so there's something that's been hurting you and actually if you look at that flag up here okay that flag that that just above everything this is your efforts it's in two little pieces it's because you did work so hard to try to make it to work and you kind of lost yourself into that. But believe me, in two, one, a card like this fall, upside down like this, that tells me, you know that person that went away, that person that is leaving you right now, that person that, that turned her back and, and move out? Um, this person, actually, this is not the charming princess. It's not either the charming prince, okay? It is more like... Um, Henry VIII, okay? This is somebody that was just like thinking for herself, just taking care of herself and disregarding the person you are. So, you know what? Sometimes it's a blessing in disguise to have those people to leave. So, right now, of course, it's going to be difficult. Of course, you have the feeling of lost. And of course, it hurts, okay? But I'm telling you, with what I see right here, you have all new opportunity to build yourself up, to build your self-confidence again, to, you know, to be nice to yourself. The energy card that came out is this one here. It says the world. You see the man or a woman with a big cape looking over a, a big bay at night and you see the planet Earth that evolves on top. Actually, this is an invitation to you to look outside of the box and to, um, in this world of technology, it tells you that there's so much around you. There's so much thing that you have to consider, so many new options. In this, in this world of technology, like the networking is going to work wonders for you. You're going to have to really push in that direction. Um, they, well, it says that there's a lot of possibilities, so you're going to have to think outside the box. You're going to have to make a little effort in that, you know, in that aspect. And contact the people you know, try to find out, because, you know, it's not only just like little, your little area around you. It could be something much wider that is right there, available, and that's going to make sure, you know, it's, it's a way that you're going to have to expand and, and be... Um, well, to, to have things to go well for you. So this is just like one little thing. If you are into this, just push in that direction. You can't miss it. All right. So now I'm going to show you uh, an overview, you know, just like a big vision of those, those, all those cards that I, I um, lay out, or the layout of the cards that I, I have for you today. And um, we're going to specifically looking at those three cards in the middle that tells me about how you feel right now um, with the ten of pentacles the queen of pentacles and the wheel of fortune which is a major icon it, it tells me that right now you are just like you're taking care of your business you're taking care of yourself you are trying to you know i'm, I'm saying mend your broken heart but no it's not really that it's just that you take care of a control of your own or the things that you own your money, your um, work field, your, um, your assets, you are taking care of everything. This lady, um, the, the queen of pentacle, um, she's just like a mother earth, okay? And 
she is just taking care of her babies okay so whatever it is that she sows, she's nurturing it she's taking care of it and right now you're into this position and with the ten of pentacles it tells me that you're not broke okay you're doing okay so don't worry about that the wheel of fortune is telling me that there's opportunity coming your way it's going to be for you to decide either you take it or leave it but it seems to me that's going to be pretty pretty profitable pretty good for you so let me tell you what i have for the rest all right so at the base here ace of sword it seems like destiny meets synchronicity okay there's is something that you know there are times in life where you battle and battle and and you fight to try to get everything and just like it's not coming to you and there's some other time where you just have to say a nice word here a little action there and all everything is just falling into place this is what i call synchronicity so probably you had to lose something in order to build yourself up and see what you can do really on your own we can see in the past there was a probably a very nasty person somebody that that was just like ready to you see ready to stab you you see that little that little guy here he doesn't wear his sword as a sword he wear that sword as a knife you know ready to stab so it's just behind you please leave it there don't run after that person leave it in the past okay right now it seems like there's probably somebody a very friendly a person is around you and support good support could be a good friend but could be someone that has a loving interest also but you know whatever help you can get and and whatever friendship that you can receive and and you know to take care of yourself well please don't let it pass just take advantage of not taking advantage advantage of the person but take advantage of this situation that allows you to feel good about yourself again all right the next card temperance temperance um it's a card of you know bringing opposite things that are not normally matching together to put them together in harmony it's also a card of being patient for something so I know that sometimes you are very much in a hurry for everything, Aries, and especially you're sometimes impatient toward yourself. But this time, it's telling you, you know that, that kindness that you can show other people once in a while? Why don't you try to show it to yourself? Be kind to yourself and give you some time. It's, it's not going to be from yesterday to tomorrow where everything is is back on track and and fine and and flowing just like you know like it's it's not going to happen right away it, it's going to take some efforts okay now i'm going to name the card that i have here that gives me the direction where you're going with this thing all in place this is where you're going the four of pentacle the queen of cup the nine of sword the three of wands those cards on the side which is like i'm always mentioning the little things that are moving in the background you have the nine of wands the seven of coins you have the seven of um sword and the three of sword already so where you're going to find yourself is you know, sometimes we, we have a tendency when we have something happening into our life that is not, it's not something that you, uh, you like. It's, it's just like you've been punched in the face. You've been hit, you know, whatever it is. And then all of a sudden to bring yourself together, try to be like um, um, feeling fine about yourself what you do sometimes you can go shopping compulsive shopping and everything so here it says if that happened to you please pay attention you know if, if it makes you feel good do it but you know don't overdo it because it could be a tricky card here where you find yourself all right the people looking at you as seeing a person that is healing 
from inside, okay? You are in a process of healing and you start to shine. So don't let anyone tarnish this new person that you're becoming. Your biggest fear is to, that to, to be put down with a depression into that, that situation, but don't allow this person to get that power over you. Don't let that happen. Now, your, what crowns you're reading right now, where you're going is right here. The three of wands is, you see, when you have an ace is the will. When you have the two of one, it's plan. When you have the three of one, it's your work, walking for, toward those things that you want to accomplish. And you're really definitely taking the steps to that new venture, that new adventure that awaits for you. So you are going in the right direction and you're not going to stay steady there crying like a baby. No, you're going to take care of yourself and move forward. So what is going on right now? What is, what is in the future for you right now is right here. Okay. Those last uh, four cards, it's always like just like a little into a music sheet and just a little music in the background of what's happening. It seems like you're going to need some rest to take care of yourself have a little pause maybe try to just stop for a minute just the time that you have to analyze the situation and see exactly which direction to take so the seven of one this is what indicates here but it's always i, I always have to mention that you know with as um with that card there's always you know there's always an effort when you have to s put the seeds in the ground but it also takes an effort to pick up what you sow okay so you have to make sure that you give time for yourself to plan and to um, take what does what you deserve and what you you've been working for the two last card is seven of sword and the three of sword it seems like it's it seems like you know there's possibility that the person that that is actually getting out of your life is like did it in a kind of a nasty way, just like a um, hurtful way. And it, it tells you that you, it's, it's probably just a blessing, actually, that things are happening like this, you see. This is a loss, this is um, a loss of contact. It could be a definite goodbye to somebody. It could be just like like it also said, it could be a blessing in disguise, you know, that you don't lose anything, really. And this is just because it's been hurting. It's been hurting bad. The two last cards that I have for you, there is um, the wheel again, saying that things are not going to stay static. Things are changing. And you're going to have to face some confrontation or just make sure that you show what you can do okay it's not going to be given to you you're going to have to stand tall to stand straight and move forward confident okay but you have what it takes to push that wheel okay you're going to make the effort to make it make it roll make it go okay so this is the reading that i'm having for you today aries for this month of february i hope you enjoyed it of course, I would like to see some uh, comments on um, YouTube to see how you feel about it. I'd like to see some thumbs up. And of course, if you can, subscribe. See you next month, everyone.